Just this last week, we, were, we received outreach from an IRS whistleblower requesting the committee look into concerns uh, the individual has about allegations of misconduct. So can you commit that there will be no retali retaliation against that whistleblower? Mr. Chairman, while I can't comment on a specific case, I can say without any hesitation, there will be no retaliation for anyone making a, uh, an allegation or a call to a whistle whistleblower hotline. Tristan, the, the status and protection of a whistleblower should be sacrosanct. And it seems like Danny Werfel agrees with that in that clip, but is that, is that the case? Well, <laughs> the proof's in the pudding, right? If you notice, even in his comment, he specifically said uh, anyone who makes a disclosure to a whistleblower hotline and the law that protects whistleblowers, going back to the Whistleblower Protection Act of 1989 and before that, is much broader than that. So IRS whistleblowers, just like other Title V employees in the federal government, have protection for a broad variety of disclosures, whether or not they go through the IRS's hotline. Uh, certainly are, you know, we will be very vigorously watching to ensure that there is no further retaliation of our client. Um, again, he's doing the right thing for the right reasons. And we're going through the process that is absolutely the way Congress intended it to be followed. And so, you know, we'll be watching closely to see what the IRS does at this stage.